Viewers all over the world. My names are Obuefi Eza and I'm going to be on Rift. 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 So you can call me an other, a priest and the other an evangelist. I will answer. My mission is to help people live better life. Today, our today's topic is Africa. Wake up Africa, Patre. Wake up Africa, Patre. But before we dive into today's lecture, Important announcement. Don't forget that our monthly rituals, month of August, is still ongoing. You can say join us anywhere you are all over the globe. Distance is not a barrier in our spiritual work in the temple or in our consultation. You can actually join us anywhere you are all over the globe. In this monthly rituals, is group rituals of upliftment, breakthrough, and liberation. If you are interested in joining us, what you need to do is to forward your three prayer requests, make token donation to the account number, you chat me on WhatsApp, I will tell you other details we need for you in order to book it. This morning, I have gone to the temple to pray, make positive declarations upon the lives of those that really join us. We continue on that path till the last day of the month. We visit the river, river with each of our tents to offer sacrifices and salaka on behalf of all. Then we proceed back to the temple to offer sacrifices, including ram, on behalf of all. I can tell you there is power in this group rituals. We started it almost three years now. November we make it exactly three years we started it. We have lots of testimony, but as you all know, our system in the temple, we don't share, we don't share testimonies on social media or in Ezoku TV. 
You know why? It's not why we are here. But I can tell you, we have lots of testimonies. That's why people are joining us and following us since death. We have some people that have been following us over the years. Most of them, normally every January, they book the, the entire year. We ensure that they did not even skip even a single month. So I can tell you, there is power in these group rituals. Because you will be careful. Now, if you are interested to join or you have questions in today's lecture, chat me on WhatsApp 0805-7837-672. I repeat, 0805-7837-672. Or 0813-8243-871. I repeat, 0813-8243-871. If you are joining me from Ezioku TV, you are watching me from Ezioku TV all over the globe. If you are hearing me outside, watching me on television right now, uh, outside Africa, you are watching me from uh, TV Africa, Global TV, or uh, Amazon, with your television, charge me on WhatsApp. The number you are seeing on the screen on the television is my number. I would like to hear from you. Now, if you are watching us, and if for any reason you could not be able to finish watching this program, you can always go to my private YouTube channel, Ubuifi Eza and Oguchi Tubel, or if they, every lecture you see on this Ezioku TV is there. We have over 1,000 lectures that contest all the teachings we have been giving out every day over the years. Now, if you are, so, are joining me on social media, please touch the button, share, share to invite your friends to hear from the horse's mouth. Today, we are here with a unique lecture. Wake up Africa, Patrick. We are here to tell you some certain things you need to know about Africa. You, we Africans are blessed people with natural gifts, with the best weather and, and natural minerals. Africa has the highest mineral deposit on earth if you want to con compare with other continent we are blessed like i told you africa is blessed children of we are blessed in all ramifications but it's unfortunate that our competitors the whites the Anyari people they came back to tell us our stories and we allowed them and they began their distor uh, distortions of the who we are and uh, it's a pity that our uh, people are buying that those ideas of uh, saying negative things against who we are as africans and uh, that is the main problem they will never tell you because they are seeing us as their competitors and they will never see anything good about us yes according to research we all know about the story and the stories surrounding uh, Satan, uh, the morning star. And uh, we are told that he's a very beautiful angel. But at the end of the day, the, the Indian, the Europeans, they painted him black with tell. And because we are black, so anything that is negative, they will say is Africa. Anything that is positive, they claim the originality. As you all know, if they know how they can take the uh, Tower of Babel in Egypt, they will. But they can't because it's already there. We all know that civilization started in Africa. Modern civilization started in Africa with organized government, leadership, famine, name it. Civilization in general started in Africa. Egypt. And you all know that the first university was built in, in Africa. You know. Then all the, the, the great minds, the philosophers, Aristotle and the rest of them, they schooled in Africa. Then like what Aristotle did, they took everything back to their place, Athens, Greece, and the claiming originality of philosopher. Those uh, that understand more about philosopher, 
we tell you that everything started here in Africa. Great minds. Even people that formulated their own system of having religious system originated, learn what they understand in Africa because Africa from time immemorial is a, a race that watch Kuchuku or So even the Moses that started the the Judaism uh, Judaism of Eden learn so many things from African spirituality. He used that to set up the Jewish religion. That is why we have so many things in common with Jewish religion. Even their own father of faith, Abraham, once living in Africa. Even the founder of uh, the acclaimed founder of Christianity, Jesus, schooled in Africa. He grew and grew up, uh, grew up here. That is why when he went back to synagogue as a grown, full grown man to teach, his people marvel at his intelligence. How they were like, ah, is it not this um, Jesus, son of Mary, that we are here, even here with his brothers and sisters? So, what I'm saying in essence is that what they, all the wisdom he used to teach his people in the synagogue is what he learned from Africa. And the, the teaching which he brought is for his people, not for we Africans. But it's unfortunate that almost 2,000 years, the teaching is not, did not stand in Africa. It will interest you to know that Christianity is less than 200 years in Africa. 200 years of yesteryears. Yes. But in, we Igbos have been here for thousands of years. So what did they do? All this, have you asked yourself, why is it that we are told that Jesus once lived over 2,000 years ago, according to that Adekreka story? Have you asked yourself, why is it that that Christianity did not um, germinate well in Africa? Have you asked yourself that question? Because our forefathers rejected them. Because the message they are preaching is not for us. He himself said that he came for his people, lost a lost sheep of Israel. So the message is not for us. Even himself did not bring his message to Africa, despite the fact that he he was he was raised, he schooled in Africa. He must have had some classmates and friends. Why in Egypt? But when he was appointing his disciples. His apostles, 12 apostles, none of African uh, persons there. Even when they appointed some two disciples, none in Africa. Despite the fact that we have lots of Africa that have been there, you know, international businessmen, we have them. Like Ethiopian Enoch. You heard about Ethiopia Enoch, the man from Ethiopia that normally travel here and there. Yes. He's there. Do you even know that even the man that carried, helped him to carry the cross, according to that Adagreka story, is from Syrian in Libya here? Do you know? So it's not as if we have not come across more Africans. Because we have Africans that are international travelers from Africa. They go to Europe to go and serve, do their own business. So if he wanted to appoint African child, he would have... But he understand that he, his message is not for we Africans. He came for his own people. And that is why he made that particular statement from his mouth. A woman that was asking him to heal his child. He said, woman, what does it, what concern me and you? That he is there for lost uh, sheep of Israel. Huh? Then he, the woman was like, keep persuading him, begging him, that even the food that is meant for children, real children, that even a person dog can eat it. So to show you, he said it, that he did not come for us. That is why even when he was evangelizing, he did not visit Africa. I remember even his food soldiers, Paul, 
when he was writing his own letters, he wrote to Rome, Romans, he wrote to France, Ephesus, he wrote to Corinthians, Turkey, and the rest of them. But none of those letters was written to Africa. Despite the fact that Egypt was uh, world power. Then, you know, Egypt, the world power, the first world power is in Africa. And everybody, anybody on earth that is looking for greener pasture will look towards Africa. So it's not as if Africa is no, uh, uh, no known town. No. Africa is well known. Even Ethiopia. And so many other towns. Yes, because why some of the these towns are, so why some of them, you don't even remember their names, that most African countries rechange their names. The original are known names. Do you, do, do you know that even Nigeria has their names, original names, before the white men came? Uh, in the 18th century, they gave us the Niger area. Remember, River Niger has a link with River Nile in Egypt, you know. So all those things is what they used to just to cave us. They tell long so, uh, wrong stories about us. Demonizing us. Grouping us as the third world. But actually civilization started here. So some of the things they used to develop their, con their continent is what they picked from here. Because the Asian Egyptian, they later invaded Egypt. They made away with some of those history documents. Now, for them, they wrote theirs. Because during that time, the, the, the Pharaoh, that the world power ruling the whole world. The world is not civilized there at all. Then having said that there is so much treasure in Africa, they went back. Because we are choosing children of God. They went back to the drawing board and they came with suspected our weapons to dispossess us what we are, our inheritance. They divided African countries among themselves. The the people of Holland, they invaded the Congo side. Why the German, British, and what have you divided Nigeria as is, and the French. The German, the, the, the French people and the British, they divided our, our land. Their interest is mineral resources. They pack the gold and the everything they pack from Africa. Britain today doesn't have gold. They don't, don't have. But they made all this gold. Do you remember that time when their queen died? Remember when they showed us a warehouse full of gold? Where did they get those gold from? Is it not what they took from Africa? They took all their mineral resources, named it every country in Africa during the slave trade. Don't forget that even the Israelites lived in Africa for 430 years. Uh, we never treated them that bad. But when it began their turn, they came to our land, took our mineral resources. After the slave trade, they used our people as slaves, working in the rubber farm for our plantations all over the world. Those blacks you are seeing in uh, Americans, who land, uh, Jamaicans, and rest of the Africans, our descendants, our fathers, African descendants. They use them as slaves. They bought some of them with Miro, or Daddy Miro. They use all those things. And after making money, when the whole world was clamoring that the trade, trade, trade should stop, they used those money, illegal money, to buy mineral resources deposited in every African country. That's why in Nigeria they use their own money to buy Chevron, Shell, Ajib, and the rest of them. And those companies is still representing money back to their country of origin. They are using those money to develop their countries. And they will come back and be telling us that uh, they are more developed than us. 
Don't you know that even though some of those countries you are looking up to, they have ghetto. If they if you don't know, they have ghetto in their their country, but they will not allow you to to take pictures or snap in those areas. Don't you know? Those countries, if you want to judge them, judge them in the last one one thousand years. How did Europe look like? In the last one thousand years, last two thousand years, how did they look like? The rich, the money they made today is money they made from African soil. They came with the weapons, overshadowed our fathers, threatened them with wars, made some of the kingdom crumble, like the Bini Kingdom, like the Uri Kingdom. They crumble these kings, the powerful kings we have, with because they came with gone and subdue our people, took our mineral resources to develop theirs. And now they are trying to lord over us that the, the, this civilization started from them. No, it's not true. If you have not watched my teaching, African, the first son of God, you have not started. Go and watch that teaching. You know where civilization started. Because all their Abraham and everything, you cannot tell the story of Abraham without mentioning Africa. So Africa, we are the first, suit, first uh, choosing of uh, children of God. Because we have been in existence before them. Yes. So they came to Africa, overpowered us with guns and the ammunition. So that way, what make up, make us great. They took those things to use it to develop their countries. So what I can tell you is Africa to wake up. They came to Africa with all mindset is to demonize us, tell us bad stories, false story against our identity. What, uh, what made us tick? Tell us that our fathers are demons. Tell us uh, all those things that are aware of worship, that we are worshiping demons. Their intention is to introduce their own faith. Their intention is to introduce their own faith in order for, the, for us to be seeing them as great people. Uh, in order for us to be seeing them as the children of, uh, of God. And they, they will be seeing us as evil people. That is what they, they just succeeded in being. They introduced their own faith, their own brother. They introduced Jesus and be telling us that Jesus is God. Yes. Before they came, we already know God. We know that Chuku, we recognize him. Before they came to our place in the in 18th century, we, know, we already know God. That's why the first uh, missionary people that came to Nigeria did not succeed, the Portuguese. They came to tell us about Chuku, and we tell them that we already know Chuku before they came. Before they came, we have our Chuku, we have Umu Chuku, and we have all those towns with the Chukus. So they went back. They did not succeed. They came back with the, with the second missionary journey with more Kony uh, method. They drafted a bishop, uh, Ajay Crowder. And cook that came as a, a church missionary society, CMS. Why the Catholic drafted a Shanahan that later later became a bishop. And cook they came as a missionaries from RCM, Roman Catholic Mission. That is their original name. When they came and they all these uh, the the so Crusaders, they, the old names they call those group of people is Crusaders. You know why? Because an emperor called Emperor Constantine during his time, he had a dream where he saw, because he is the, he is the Roman Empire that he ruling the whole world then. He now said, okay, he had a dream where he used cross to dominate, to win the whole world. And when he woke up, he now said, okay, that he understand that with the, he's the one that introduced crucifix. He now said, okay, since he can use crucifix to rule the world, that is how he started his soldier. Soldiers called Crusaders. Then he used this preaching of crucifix at Jesus. He's the one that introduced it. He's the one that covered that particular place known today as Vatican, Rome. He gave it to his uh, newly converted faith. Catholic Church, known to the as Catholic faith. So after he passed on, these crusaders 
keep on revolving, revolving. Today, they are the present day night. Then I know Are you following? So their intention is to fund any way they can penetrate Africa. Then so when they are coming, they came with so many things. They came with charity. They build hospitals. They build schools. That is why if you go to these ancient schools, you see those orthodox um, schools and orthodox Catholics and the orthodox, these orthodox churches of Britain. You also see where they build hospitals. They build schools, going to the villages and telling our village heads to send their children to come and know how to read and write. Yes, but their, their primary intention is not even to show them how to read and write. But their primary intention is to deceive our fathers. Their primary intention is to teach them CRK. Eh? To, see, to teach them CRK. Are you following? That is why they, they incorporated the, our CRK into our school syllabus. CRK has nothing to do with our development. To the glory of God, I have been to India. India happens to be the first international country I traveled to. That was um, over 20 years ago, 21 years ago. In year 2003, I was in India. In that place, they are on their schooling. But they did not have anything to do with CRK in their school curriculum. Are you following the China today, the last time I checked, India and China are the fastest growing economy. And India and China, if you go to our market, go to spare parts, go to pharmaceutical shop, go to where they are selling tools, go to where they are selling medicine, everything. If you go to any shop, I can tell you now 80% of whatever goods you saw in that particular shop is either from China or from India. So they are doing very, very well. And the China and India don't study CRK in their school curriculum. So, and they are doing well science-wise. Even the phone you are using is from China or from India. Now, you can see that CRK has nothing to do with our development. So CRK is just to its levels to make us be looking like Mumu. The, 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 the book called Bible is highly distorted books, especially the New Testament. We all know about the Old Testament is a uh, the selected few of those work called Torah or school. The foundation book, the selected few. We have lots of ancient books. If you come across those ancient books, the Egyptian ancient books, where you see the true stories, the, the true happenings of events. You know, this Bible is some of these things are taken from those major books from the ancient book, like the Book of Death. They use it to formulate and some of these stories you are seeing about the story of Jesus was formulated books because they are the story is what happened to a prince in ancient Egypt. I don't want to go there. But let me be following you the way you understand it, using the Bible. The, the New Testament was actually formulated to enslave us. Yes. So they will be telling us that if if somebody slap you in this uh, cheek that you should turn the other cheek so that they will slap you again yes there this is those are some of those stories they are telling us we africans but slap a white man slap america or slap a uh, britain whether you will receive bombardment with bombs whether they will turn the other side for your other cheek for you to slap them but they are telling all we africans so all those conk and book stories so that we will never fight for our rights so that we keep on forgiving them for all the atrocities committed against blacks they keep on telling us about heaven that we should keep on uh, expecting heaven every race we keep on now boss anywhere every race but them they keep on now boss over they are building their own paradise here on earth but we are told that someone is building our own paradise in somewhere we don't know are you following all this is, is just a trick to to fool us i can tell you these people are building paradise here on earth. They are building all with all the gold and mineral resources. They are building wonders. Why they will tell me and you Africans to in above when we have must have died. Africa, wake up. Don't allow anybody to deceive you. Let us fix our place. 
Do you know why people are bastardizing our environment, our economy, and everything? Even our leaders are not helping mothers. Everybody, because we are not seen here as where we will live permanently. We were told they deceived us by telling us that our own reward will be as in somewhere in paradise. That's what we are, they told us. Yes, they told us that that's where we will live. Now we, that we should forget about building and making this world a better place. So who is fully who? Now and them, they will be really busy building their own, building their place because they know that they know that they will, if they fix their place to be good, it will favor them. But they will keep on telling us that we should forget about it. We should be building our own paradise above. Are you following? Africa, wake up. Look at what is happening in Africa. We are, we are busy uh, neglecting our environment, living less life, even our leaders, our followers, because in Africa, we have highest numbers of uh, irresponsible followers, irresponsible uh, citizens. And the, in other words, once we have irresponsible citizens, you will have irresponsible government. Because government, whoever that is in power today, is a product of the society, right? Yeah, so when we understand the fact that this place is our home, we need to fix it. Then we will always do something right to make this place a better place for all of us. But for the fact that they tell us that we keep on running every race, like an about saying Igwe, therefore nobody cares about making this place a better place. That is exactly what is happening in Africa. But they are busy because they know there is no place like uh, heaven where they are building anything for you. And if anybody is telling you to pay tithes that they are paying, building a paradise here on somewhere, call heaven for you. They are just deceiving you. Are you following? Yes. Are you following? Nothing like a place they are building houses for you. Now, if you if you live here on the earth and uh, die as a matured human spirit, you join the uh, um, the chair, the sense where you will be um, a matured human spirit to help your descendants to mature as a spiritual guide and and as a higher entity. Uh, not that there is a place where they are building houses anywhere for you. So if you are running every day thinking that they are building mansions somewhere for you, you are just deceiving yourself. So make this world a better place. For us, they now they came to Africa and bastardize everything. Even our moral behavior, they bastardize everything. Everything that is, is immoral, they will tell us that it doesn't matter. Our people live high moral values. Instead, they live what is important and preaching what is, is irrelevant. They tell our fathers that if you marry more than one wife, that you go to hell. That you, you know, they will stop receiving, giving, giving you holy communion. That you, but they are all forefathers. The Abraham, the Solomon, the, the David of this world. Name all those people that you are seeing in the Bible that are, this is, all of them married multiple wives. Yes. Those ones are, are with the way Africa live their life. Because they have been the life of ancient time. So that one is not even the problem. Instead, they pinpointed that one. Then the main issue that is abominable are that you, that you always attack rocks of Chuku. They will not even touch that one, like homo and lesbianism. Do you know, have you noticed that they are legalizing homo and lesbianism, which has a, even a Bible, Bible proof that when, like homo, that um, uh, uh, Sodom and Gomorrah, they committed that particular act and they were destroyed. They attracted a rot of Chugu upon themselves. But this one that is capital abominable act, they will look over it. Instead, they will preach in chasing shadow, telling you that our way of life is, is immoral, is sinful. But the men, the cocoa that is abominable art of Humo, uh, Sodom and Gomorrah, Humo and lesbianism, they will, they will overlook it. Even they will ask you to bless uh, those couples. Who is deceiving who? Africa, wake up. These people, they demonize everything that concerns us. 
what made us tick. They even uh, advise us to stop respecting our elders, our ancestors. I can tell you, if you refuse to respect your ancestors, what they are trying to do is to disconnect you with your ancestors, to disconnect that cordial relationship that is supposed to exist between you and your ancestors, so that your ancestors will stop fighting your battle. So that you will, you will stop receiving the spiritual strength and favor from your ancestors. So that you will be handicapped. They ask you to dis disobey your ancestors. However, they are celebrating their own ancestors. Who is the fool you? Africa, wake up. They will ask you, we'll be in your father's house and you'll be calling St. Anthony of Padua. We'll be calling St. Uh, Francis of Assisi. Huh? Uh -huh. You'll be calling all those things. Why you neglect your own uh, ancestors, your own fathers? Don't you know that and that nobody will love you than your blood? Don't you know? I can tell you. You don't understand about the spirituality and the principalities and powers. Those spirits of those ancestral spirits of the Oibos cannot even cross the 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 country. The boundaries of African spirituality. Don't you know? I can tell you those those Saint Antonia calling cannot even be allowed in African continent. Don't you know that every continent have the spiritual guide that guide them? Don't you know, don't even know that those foreign entities, those white entities cannot even cross African continent to come and answer your prayers? Don't even know. Yes, they will not because the, the, the earthly prototype is what is happening in the spiritual realm. And will respect if you like, if you like, be calling the American government when there is chief and brothers in your house, be calling the American government to come and save you. They will never come. In fact, even if you are American citizen, eh, but you are in Nigeria right now, even if you are calling the, the American embassy to send soldiers to come and protect you in your house, instead, the American embassy will still contact the Nigerian government. That is the process. You don't jump process. Even that St. Anthony you are calling. Before he can enter the, the boundaries of this African continent, he will be hijacked. He will not have a hijacked spirit. You know, uh, have you not read it in the Bible? Even when Daniel, in the book of Daniel, when Daniel prayer was even answered, but the higher being hijacked the prayer, hijacked even the, the angel that is coming with the prayer answer. You know, you don't you know that there were principalities and powers that even that foreign uh, sense you are calling cannot even operate well in, uh, in African soil. Once he enter African territory, he will be hijacked. Yes, because he's moving to another territory. So I'm telling you that it's better for you to call fellow African entities that the one that will be of great help to you when the matter arises. So, if anybody, but they, for them, they understand all these things perfectly. But they, their reason is to disconnect us from our ancestors. So that our ancestors will, will, not, will never be happy with us. Okay, how, let me paint this picture before I round up. If you are, as you are a father or a mother, now a parent, laboring so much, sometimes you go hungry in order to provide for your own children. How will he feel in the next 100, 200 years? Me and you will no longer be here. In the next 200 years to come, there must be children, children, children in your lineage, right? Now, how will you feel in the next 200 years, maybe you are in the spiritual world, and the one of your descendants, maybe one, 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 yes, for any reason, came to the spiritual world, and you are there. And he understands you that you are his ancestors. But for the fact that he did not recognize you, understand. He was busy shouting, Antonio of Padua, pray for us. Antonio of Padua. He was busy hailing Antonio of Padua. He was busy even hailing uh, St. Francis of Assisi, who have never contributed anything for his well being. 
but because he was a Christian and they brainwashed him that Anthony of Padua is a saint. How will you feel in the spiritual realm? Are you not going to feel rejected? Are you not going to feel sad that even your descendant that you labored so much when you are on earth for your for the benefit of your descendants as in children on board? Because some of us, why we are laboring so much now is that we want something good for our children on board. So what am I saying? Are, are you not going to feel sad? You feel sad. So what I'm telling you is that your ancestors are feeling sad because of the amount of negligence they are showing them. Let me stop here. If you have any question in today's lecture, I want us to do consultation for you, deep consultation. Chat me on WhatsApp. My WhatsApp number remains 0805 I repeat 0805 or 0813 824871 0813 Remain blessed. May the power of the Tukwa Kepremi Henine bless you and abide with you now and forevermore. Yeah, guys, see you tomorrow. No, that one, please. Yeah, I'm a